farmhouse friends and welcome back to the farmhouse today today we're in the kitchen and I wanted to bring you along to share with you my all-time favorite comfort food here in Michigan the leaves are turning quickly and the temperatures have really dropped and I am feeling all things cozy and when I think of cozy vibes I think of comfort food this recipe hits all of the must-haves for comfort food in my book and I hope you are going to enjoy it. There really isn't a recipe per se for this dish. It's just kind of throw and go and I love meals like that. There's plenty of room for you to adapt it to your likes and the likes of your family. This is a low budget meal. I remember my parents making it. I remember going to my grandmother's house and her countertop being laden with homemade noodles waiting to go into this dish. It's pretty clear that all of these things could have been found on the farm at one time, making it very low budget. It was probably made a lot during the Depression era. My cousin and I talk about this dish every time we're together and how much we love it. Just don't know how long it's been in our family, but we're pretty sure it has been there a long, long time. And I would love to share it with you so you can enjoy it throughout the season. Well, friends, I've got my apron on, so let's get cooking. Let's start off with our ingredients. We're going to start with some oil. I am using olive oil. We have onion, celery, and carrot. We're going to season with salt and pepper. We have some chicken breast. You can do turkey. You could do bone-in chicken. This is what I have on hand. We could do noodles fresh. You could do gluten-free. I am using extra wide, no yolks. We're going to use water. You could use broth here. Later down the road, we're going to need some peas and potatoes, any kind of potatoes you want, and the ingredients to mash them. I'm just going to start out cutting up the onion, carrot, and celery. slice or dice your onions any way you prefer. That goes for all of these vegetables. And you can totally do garlic as well if you love garlic. Garlic tends to hurt my tummy, so I kind of stay away from garlic. But if you love garlic, you go right ahead and add garlic because garlic does make everything taste wonderful. Just adding our oil to our pan and heating it, bringing it up to temperature, putting in our aromic vegetables and letting them start to cook. We're gonna season here and you can season with anything that you like. I am just using salt and pepper. I have also used Trader Joe's poultry seasoning before and that was amazing. We're just gonna cook this down until these vegetables are tender and at this point, you could transfer it to the crock pot. We're gonna add in our chicken, and once we put our chicken in, we're going to add some liquid. I am using water because this was most like my mom's recipe. I'm also adding in a tiny sprig of rosemary and a little bit of thyme, not to overpower, just a little hint of seasoning. Now again, this liquid can be vegetable broth, it can be chicken broth, it can be bouillon, whatever you like. You get this in and then we start cooking. I turn my chicken up and let it boil a little bit just to get it cooked and then I just turn everything down and let it simmer. And for me, this is one of those meals that is great when it simmers all day long. Now about a half hour before you're ready to eat, you want to start cooking your potatoes and you're just going to do these however you normally do. I could peel these, but I like the peel. I think you get a lot of nutrition in it. You can use any kind of potato you want. Now we're going to remove the chicken that is finished and it should start falling apart. Now if you use bone-in chicken, it will be falling off the bone at this point and you get so much nutrition and so much taste from the bone-in chicken. Again, this is just what I had on hand. 
Now it's time to add those noodles, but before we do, we're gonna bring that pot back up the temperature and just let it start to get to a rolling boil. Now again, these noodles can be fresh, they can be gluten-free, they can be store-bought, whatever you prefer, and we're just gonna let them cook. We're just gonna let them cook until they are the right temperature. Alongside those noodles cooking, we're continuing to boil our potatoes. Now we're going to chop our chicken into bite-sized pieces. If you cook this on the bone, you're just going to peel it off the bone and set it aside. Once the noodles are just the way you like them, you want to go a little al dente. You don't want them too overcooked and mushy. But at that point, you add the chicken back in, turn the pot back down, and again, let it continue to simmer. mash them according to your usual mash style. I use a little butter blended with olive oil and a little bit of almond milk. Now a word of advice for this part is you don't want your potatoes too moist. You want to leave them a little on the dry side. So I would advise to add your liquid a little at a time until you know that they are not too wet the time to heat up the peas and we're just going to serve them in a dish like this. So I'm going to show you exactly how I love this dish. Everybody eats it differently. Most everyone eats it this way, but a few don't. Some don't like it all together, but I do. So I'm going to start with my mashed potatoes first and I'm going to give it a quick season. I don't usually use a lot of salt, but for this, I do salt my potatoes. I'm going to ladle in my noodles, and then I'm going to top with the peas. Now these peas add a big punch of protein and flavor, and they add so many good nutrients. There we have it, friends. This is the ultimate comfort food. I hope this recipe becomes your new family favorite to adapt and change to fit your family. I wanna hear all about it in the comments. Let me know how you made it, what you added, what you took away. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, guys, be blessed, be safe, and I'll see you soon. Beat me down in the comments, if you will, and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow. If you enjoy videos like this DIY homesteading and all things fun, please hit subscribe and join the Farmhouse family.